Among the goods up for auction later this month at Julian's is a script for Marilyn Monroe's final, unfinished film Something's Got to Give, complete with handwritten annotations from the late icon. Icons, Playboy, Hugh Hefner, and Marilyn Monroe is the name of the lot that Julian's auctions unveiled new pictures and descriptions of on Wednesday. The auction is scheduled to take place in Beverly Hills, California, on March 28th to 30th. In addition to hundreds of items the late magazine creator Hefner left in his estate after passing away in September 2017 at the age of 91, the auction offers a number of other artifacts that were once owned by Monroe, including cosmetics, costumes from movies, and clothing from the late Tinseltown icon. At her estate in Brentwood, California, Monroe was sadly discovered dead at the age of 36 in the early hours of August 5, 1962. Her death was deemed a suspected suicide following a barbiturates overdose. Organizers have noted that Monroe annotated the screenplay in response to the dialogue. One edition, titled, Sentimental Schmaltz, corresponds to a statement from her Ellen character in the movie. Deep breath then, that's what he thinks, the character says in regard to guys from the South Sea Islands. Less than five months before Monroe's death, on March 62, 1962, Nunnally Johnson wrote the screenplay for the unfinished motion picture. The organizers believe that the script will sell around $20,000 to $30,000. According to Julian, there were many ups and downs during the film's production. At one point, Monroe even refused to come on site and wrote emails to the producers expressing her concerns. One item in the deal is the notes which are anticipated to sell for between $10,000 and $15,000. A black and white passport photo of the late baseball great Joe DiMaggio and Marilyn Monroe, taken in 1954, is another piece that is guaranteed to pique interest, according to the organizers. According to Julian's, the passport photo was taken prior to the well-known late icons leaving on their honeymoon in Tokyo and then traveling to Korea as part of a goodwill tour to entertain American soldiers stationed there. The anticipated selling price of the unique piece of Americana is between $10,000 and $20,000. An original first edition copy of Playboy magazine with Monroe on the cover is also up for auction. The organizers estimate it will bring in between $2,000 and $4,000. The magazine named Monroe its Sweetheart of the Month. In that edition, she would go on to be dubbed the Playmate of the Month in subsequent issues. Monroe's old checkbook, which has 17 blank checks with the name Marilyn Monroe on it, is also being put up for auction by the auction house. According to Julian's, there are seven check payment stubs with the date January 9, 1960, and the sum of $100 written on them. The checks were issued by the Irving Trust Company. The projected selling price of the checkbook is between $3,000 and $5,000. A brass plaque grave marker that was formerly on display at Monroe's Crypt at Pierce Brothers Westwood Village Memorial Park and Mortuary in Los Angeles is another significant piece of Monroe memorabilia up for auction. Julian's estimates that the marker, which says Marilyn Monroe slash 1926 to 1962, will go for between $2,000 and $3,000. A typewritten receipt from Pilgrim's Furniture, dated August 4, 1962, the day of Monroe's death, is among the lot's unsettling mementos, according to the auction house. It is projected to sell for $3,001 to $5,000. Three days before her demise, on August 1, 1962, an invoice receipt to Monroe was also up for auction, with an estimated price of $1,000 to $1,500. According to the organizers, she purchased begonias, petunias, tomatoes, terracotta pots, hummingbird feeders, and hummingbird food, as shown by the receipt from Frank's Nurseries and Flowers. An estimated $800, one, 200 is how much a collection of copyrighted, never-before-seen, and unpublished images of Monroe from October 1960 would fetch. According to Julian's, Charlotte News columnist Emery Wister took the images, which feature Monroe with cast members from the film The Misfits. It is believed that a limited-edition print of the landmark, 
taken by Andre de Dines in 1949 at Jones Beach and Tobey Beach in Long Island, New York, will fetch between $800 and $1,200. The Roliflex camera de Dines that was used for the photo shoot is also for sale. It is anticipated to fetch between $4,000 and $6,000. Several vintage Playboy artworks from Hefner's extensive collection are also up for auction. The highlight is the collection of rare fine art by Playboy Enterprises, which hasn't been seen since it was on display in the internationally recognized Playboy headquarters, the renowned Playboy mansions, and the pages of Playboy magazine issues, according to a statement released by Julian's on Wednesday. A picture of a stage bar by the late great American artist Leroy Neiman is one of the lot's jewels. The estimated sale price is between $100,000 and $200,000. The artwork was featured in a Neiman portrait titled, Man at His Leisure, a Neiman portrait of the players and pleasures of Vegas, that appeared in the magazine's August 1962 issue. Among the things for sale is a collection of watercolor paintings and drawings by the late artist Alberto Vargas. According to Julian's, they include a pinup of a Vargas girl from the February 1963 edition of Playboy magazine. Vargas expects each of his artworks to sell for between $20,000 and $40,000. Among the collection's provocative works is an original watercolor painting by late artist Patrick Nagel, which features a seated lady with her legs bound. Nagel also produced the cover for Duran Duran's 1982 album Reel. The anticipated selling price of the painting is between $15,000 and $25,000. A photo collage piece by the late, great pop artist Andy Warhol, which appeared in Playboy in August 1974, is also for sale. Actress Patty Darbinville is featured in the photo collage, Instant Warhol No. 6 of 7, which is anticipated to sell for between $60,000 and $80,000. A bronze replica of the late artist Richard Hunt's Playboy Rabbit Head logo sculpture is up for auction. It is expected to fetch between $60,000 and $80,000. The estimated price range for a group of 14 blue velvet George II style dining chairs from the Playboy Mansion West dining room is $3,000 to $5,000. According to Julian's, the chairs appeared in an old photograph and on the reality TV show The Girls Next Door.